Is anybody out there tonight? <laughs> or is everybody watching the president tonight? Let me move this stand. Get it closer to me. Is anybody out there? Hey, Janet. Hey, Janet. There you are. Oh, I got you on a stand. I know it's not the greatest angle in the world, but it'll have to do. Hey guys, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Oh, can y'all hear the rain in the trees? We are feeling, hey Vonda, your old Tennessee girl is checking in. Vonda, what part of Tennessee are you from? You've probably told me because we love Tennessee. We love Nashville, Franklin area. We love it. What part of Tennessee? You've probably told me. I get to talking to so many different people. Jackson. Hey, I was looking for your Facebook page and your alert popped up. <laughs> Yay! I have been terrible at making videos lately, y'all. I've just been terrible. I just, I don't know. I've got one that I'm putting together while we were on vacation is it real hot in california well it's really cool here we are feeling the effects of uh hurricane or tropical storm cindy uh poor old people that's at the beach right now that came in behind us they are just there in pouring down horrible monsoon weather uh so it's really cool i got the ceiling fan on but it's really cool, and I don't know if y'all can hear the rain. We're supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow from the hurricane. Um, my nephew and his family were at Dolphin Island, which is right off Mobile, and they had to leave a night early. And they have, he has worked so hard. He's worked an extra job for them to be able to do some things this summer, and I just hated it so bad. But we had a wonderful time at the beach, and I'm sorry that I didn't video very much. I do have a video that I'm putting together. Um, yes, yes we did. We just missed all the bad, I mean, it was just like God shined his face on us. And uh, we, John needed some relaxing, time so bad um yeah flags went up double flags are up as of yesterday and that means that you can literally get a ticket if you get in the water but you are absolutely insane if you get in the water with um double reds uh one day there was a caution flag and actually we don't let the boys go out but i mean they can go out and, and just like mid calf water when the riptide's bad and it can pull them out so they didn't go without us reed even he thought he could go out a little bit further but no we we're right there with them and one day i think it was the second day they came back in the adults came in with the kids because came back to the beach because they could feel it pulling on them so you have to respect a riptide i'm telling you we had an incident in our church. It was before I was there, but I knew the young man very well. But our church was on choir tour in Puerto Rico back in the 80s. And we had a young couple, some young, two, two couples were together walking in the water. And the riptide absolutely pulled these grown men out. And one kept trying to get the other one. I mean, they were in knee, they didn't even have swimsuits on because... The Church of God back then didn't believe in any kind of swimming together. So they just had on like jeans and, and um, stuff or blue jean skirts. The girls did whatever they wore back then. And that riptide pulled that young man out repeatedly. And we lost, the church lost him. It was a horrible, horrible thing. But you have to respect a riptide. You really do. And so, um, when you've got double red flags, you do not want to be out there. Uh, you will get a ticket 
Yeah, you do. And yeah, that's true. I mean, that's true. Um, you endanger yourself, and then, you know, the likelihood of you drowning is going to happen, and then the likelihood of whoever goes in after you is very great. So, um, so but it, we had the most gorgeous weather. Bless. John has worked so many hours. He needed that so badly. The first day, so we went down on um, Thursday. So Friday, it was just so beautiful. And when the kids went up to the pool, John and I, um, oh, the she shed, it's got a roof on it. Um, she is actually, um, me and her were supposed to have a girl's day tomorrow. She was going with me to the doctor. My breast bopsy got rescheduled again. And then I had to reschedule again. It's crazy. I just have so much that I have to do with mother and the boys. Um, but um, but they're leaving, going to the beach Saturday or Sunday, and it should be out by then. She will be. She's already so dark, it's ridiculous. So I forgot to text her and tell her I was fixing to go live, so she'll fuss at me. I know we're gonna. I told her we're gonna do a complete tour. Hey Tina, how you doing? You enjoying that new Bible? Um, I sent, y'all know one of my passions is to uh, send study Bibles to people, and I send the quest, and, and oh, good, 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 and um, I sent Tina one, the change of my life. Tina and I have been, um, we have been in connection with each other for almost the two years that I've been on uh, YouTube, and so I told her, I said, well, no, they're used, so, because I can't afford to buy brand new ones and send but I buy them from a lot of the thrift stores on Amazon and Half.com. And I found her a leather Quest Bible. Well, I knew it was leather. I paid a few dollars more for it than I normally did because it was leather. She said, Suzanne, that Bible is brand new. It's probably a $40 or $50 Bible. And I was so excited. She said it was brand new. I'm so excited. The Quest Study Bible, y'all, is just... To me, I rave about it, and I think the edition that I get is one of the older ones. And hey, Nadine, and um, but she wrote me the other night, and she said, I don't know why you think these Bibles are used, because this one is brand new. But, I mean, I have sent them to some people. Oh, I know. When you get to Leviticus, you'll put it down. <laughs> Leviticus is so boring. Um, Tina, I tell you a great way, if you want to read it from front to back, is to... Um, print you out a chronological reading because it goes from Genesis, Exodus, then Job, then back. Job is out of order, but it's great because it starts with the very beginning of, of the Bible and of time, and it takes you all the way And if you do it in chronological. And I printed, you can find them on the internet. I actually have a chronological Bible that I'm reading now. So like, you know, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, so many of those tell the same stories. So what it will do in the one I'm in now, I'm in Leviticus. I had laid it down for a while, but I'm in Leviticus right now. And um, But yeah, print you out a chronological reading. And then don't worry about doing so much per day. What I would do, some days I would sit down and I would read five days worth on a day. I know you work and you don't have that kind of time. But don't worry, don't stress on trying to read it in a year or anything like that. Just sit down and, and highlight it as you go. And it puts everything into perspective so much better when you read the Bible chronologically. So many things make more sense when you read it that way. And, um, and it'll have you skipping around. But, um, but yeah... And in my chronological Bible, that's what I'm reading right now. It's the New Living Translation. And it has, I don't like it as good as I do the Quest. Uh, but it's, you know, I wanted a, a different one to read this time. So, uh, but y'all, I just can't focus. Like, I mean, it's very hard for me to read and focus. And um, so I use Bible Gateway app. I'm sorry. I don't use the Bible Gateway. Well, I did on that one, the NIV. Yes, I did on that one. And you can let it read to you. There's an audio part on it. And because I have such a hard time focusing, I, there, Max McLean is one of the readers on there. 
and he was my favorite voice. And so I let him read it, and he, I'd let him read a chapter. Yes, Bible Gateways, good. They just don't have the NLT, and that's the New Living Translation. That's what my chronological Bible is, but the Version app is also good. It actually, um, you can actually, if you, if you don't have a particular Bible, you can follow along with it too and as it's reading. But the U version is good too. I found that's what I'm using right now. But Bible Gateway, Max McLean has the awesome, most awesome voice. So pleasant. And he read every bit of the Bible to me and me following along. Well, see, then I didn't have to work as hard at focusing to concentrate on it. Well, at the end of each chapter, I would stop the recording. I would read every bit of the uh, study parts on it and then I would go to the next chapter well there would be some days I'd read 20 chapters you know because I had the time and then I might go two days and not read it or three days so but if you'll do that and then I also recommend having some kind of notebook and when and and I highlight and write with markers in mind and when something is like aha to me I write that aha in there and I may put a big asterisk by it, uh, circle stuff. I just use all kind of markers in mine because to me that's like leaving a legacy behind for my child and my son-in-law and my grandchildren for them to see what Gangan studied. Uh, I have my daddy's Bible and uh, I just think it's neat to see where somebody has studied but when I get an aha moment and there will be times um, the U version, yes. Oh, good. You've been seeing my old videos about Bible journaling. I need to kind of update that too. Um, but yeah, there's some good videos on there about Bible journaling. Oh, I've just been slack lately. I know I haven't put any teaching videos on, but because I'm not teaching Bible study right now, I'm just kind of, uh, hey, my Leanne live, my sweetie. How are you doing, girl? I hope you've had a great day. I kept the boys part of the day, and I took mother with me. So uh, there again, I was with the pediatric geriatrics day all at one time. And I came home, and I just, I told John on the way home, it's like I crashed physically. I crashed. Uh, I don't know if I'm coming down off the trip and going so much, but I said, well, I'm just gonna go be a couch potato. Leanne laughs at me because every time she calls me I'm on my couch. You can see the background. I might have to start changing locations before I answer the phone. Um, but man, I just crashed my energy and with this rain I've had some more unusual pain than what I normally had. So I know Leanne. Look, Leanne, this you can't you don't have a backdrop like this in California. Leanne has bought the most awesome sequined uh, backdrop to go behind her. I mean, it's beautiful. I need to get me something like that. And uh, <laughs> she duct taped it up last night. <laughs> and Rodis was getting ready to go off her live stream. It started falling and falling and falling. <laughs> you said it's a couch. I know, I know. Uh, I, oh, Leanne, I got a new couch to go in there, too. We went and picked it up the other day. I just hadn't swapped the couches. Oh, it was... it. The backdrop was gorgeous until it fell. It's right. Um, but that's gonna um I just I just said, well, I'm gonna get out here tonight and I'm just gonna talk to my peeps. And there's just eight of us on here, but hey, that's okay. That's okay. Um this the breeze is just blowing, the rain, it's almost quit raining, but we're supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow. But I've got to take Mother into Birmingham tomorrow for her eye appointment. And, oh my gosh, I'm just, oh, I just wished I had a week that I didn't have to, to do anything. But bless her heart, she, she's so dependent on me right now. I can't, I can't not take her to the doctor. But it kind of, between keeping the boys and running with her, I get a little fatigued sometimes. And I think that's kind of what's happening right now um, is... Um, I'm kind of coming down from the trip and everything. So, what have y'all been doing today? Tell me what's been going on. Everybody been at work today? I kept that old smiling baby. I hate to bother you with this, but I want to order a quest for myself. But when I pull it up on Amazon, I get a little confused. Um, 
Patty, write me at my email, srlight56 at gmail, and I'll send you the link. So send me a message when you get off of here, and I'll, um, I'll send you a link. And um, applying for office jobs, I'm beginning to think that I'm antiquated. <laughs> Well, you can get antiquated if you've been out of the office for a few years. Nadine, how long has it been since you've worked in an office? Because I'm telling you, when I worked at the college, I had to, um, I had to, 47.8 pounds down. Yay, Tina! Woo! You've been out of the offices three years. Yeah, a lot changes. But you can do it. You can do it. You just, um, Suzanne, this is Lisa. I am a huge fan. Am I really on here? Yes, you are, Lisa King. <laughs> I'm so glad you're a huge fan. <laughs> That's exciting. Where are you from, Lisa? Oh, Vonda, shh, at work now. <laughs> um, the, you know, I interviewed a lot of people and I hired a lot of people, um, uh, Nadine, when, um, when I was at the college. And this is what I would tell them if they ask you about a particular computer program or process or something, you just let them know that, no, I currently, you know, do not know that, but I am willing and able to learn anything new. Um, you know, sell, um, sell yourself. Why did you delete her message? Hey, this is Elizabeth. I am finally catching you live. I love listening in. Hey, Elizabeth. It's great to have you. Leanne, why did you delete um, Tina's message? <laughs> did you delete her message that she was down 47.8 pounds because you're mad? <laughs> Don't put her in the naughty chair. She's only eating three ounces of food a day. <laughs> I'm I'm a little confused about that, so I don't know if that was an accident or what. But yay, Tina. I am so proud of you. I know this has not been an easy journey. And I was telling um Leanne and them last night. I haven't said anything about it because you know we fall off the wagon quite often. But this is my tenth day of clean eating. Hi Candy from Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Okay, we want to know, is it true what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? <laughs> I went to Vegas one time, and um, it was, uh, oh, Elizabeth's from Las Vegas, too. Hi. Hey, girls. Hey, Las Vegas girls. Do y'all think I have an accent? <laughs> the people laugh at my, I don't know what kind of accent um, Las Vegas, Las Vegasans, whatever y'all are called. I'm an Alabamian. She said, yes, and I love it. Oh, they told me last night something. Leanne makes fun of my accent all the time. And I'll say, Leanne, I don't have an accent. <laughs> what is it with you? <laughs> oh, I know I am Southern through and through, girl. I, it would be hard for me to change. I guess I could. Bloomingdale, Michigan. Hey, Jessica, it's great to have you. I'm getting some new names on here tonight that I don't know. And y'all, let me say, especially with you new subscribers on here, I am sorry I'm slouching right now with, or slacking, not slouching, slacking on my videos. I promise y'all in the next few weeks, I'm going to try to get back and, and do more videos, um, especially my teaching videos, because so many of y'all say you get such a blessing out of them and shame on me <laughs> for not putting those teaching videos on there. I guess I've been taking a little break since Bible study since we've been down uh, for I know Nadine. Nadine, you go in there and you sell yourself, girl. You, you just go in there and you tell them that you're willing to learn, that you will put everything that you got. Don't be uh, oh, you moved here from Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you don't be, um, don't be intimidated if you don't know everything going on in the offices. You let them know that you're a hard worker and that you're willing to learn. I looked for that in people, you know, I looked for that. And they can tell if you're genuine too. You know, I was, I, gosh, I cannot tell you how many people I interviewed for jobs at the college. So, but if you live in Vegas, first I have to get my foot in my door. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. 
That's true. And everything's online now. So, and if you can network with some friends, if you've got friends that are working in some places, networking is huge where you can get a verbal recommendation for somebody to bring you into a job. That's huge. Uh, networking is the big thing. So, uh, but Nadine, we'll be praying for you uh, for a job to come open for where God wants you to be. You know, it's one thing. Hey, Norma, there's another new name. I'm seeing a lot of new people on here tonight. I'm excited. Um, it's one thing for you just to find a job, but you want to um, you want God to open the door where you where He wants you to be, and you know when He opens the door, nobody can shut it. So you just, you know, start asking him to open the door and close the doors. He closed doors on me before, and I was so just aggravated. And he was like, um, oh, thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. You're from Kentucky. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. Lisa, I've been to Mammoth Caves in Kentucky. I believe that's as far north as I've been. Uh, we were in Nashville one weekend. And, um, are you back on THM? Well, let me tell you, um, I am doing semi, um, uh, trim healthy mama. I am, there's a lady at my church that the doctor actually put her on 60 carbs a day, which, uh, trim healthy mama doesn't really count the carbs, but you know, as well as I do, they balance the carbs. And they balance the carbs and the protein. And so really that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Drinking just tons of water. Y'all, I was in full, was gone, uh, was down there three days. I went to the block four times. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. <laughs> but we were down there three days and then two days of traveling. And so um, I have a app called Lose It that I'm using. I just liked it better than Fitness Pal. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody doesn't comment, and that's okay. That's fine. Um, but I, I loaded, downloaded the Lucid app, which is, I think it's $40 for a year, but I just liked it because it shows you the carbs, the proteins, and everything, and it and it keeps, keeps up with it every day. And then I bought, I had a journal, I've got tons of journals. I have a journal that I write down every bite that I put in my mouth. Even though it's in that app, I'm doing a journal too, just so that I have it in front of me at all times. And so I gained point two, uh, oh, you recharged my faith. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes, ma'am, that's what we all need. And I will be back recharging, y'all. I've just been taking a little break right now. Um... But um, I gained 0.2 uh, pounds. So, I mean, you know, two-tenths of a, po a pound is what I gained. So I was thrilled because we ate out and, you know, different things. But I just watched everything I ate. I ate the grilled meat and, and salads and stuff like that. So, but I have gotten my Trim Healthy Mama books out. I will be using their recipes. What I'm going to do... Y'all, this is going to be a day-by-day -day journey. I beat myself up because uh, I always hug a pillow. I do, too. I love to hug pillows when I see it. I, did you know I sleep with one like this? When I broke this arm several years ago, I had to lay my cast up on it. So I sleep hugged up with a pillow like this. I've gone through about three of them worn out. But what I'm doing on this journey, and I know I probably need to get off here. It's getting long. It is going to be a day-by-day -day journey, and I know that God has been speaking to me. I've got to get sugar out of my life. I know that. I've known it for quite a while. Uh, sugar is an inflammatory substance with the autoimmune diseases that I have, that I've been diagnosed with. I don't want to take ownership to them, but it's a fact that I struggle with them. I've got to get sugar out of my life. And that's what I'm doing. That's the reason I'm counting the carbs where Trim Healthy Mama doesn't really. But, you know, uh, they're very low carb on all the, on that. And there's several recipes that I used on there that I really liked. But my, my nephew's got a garden and we've been, I've been just sauteing fresh squash and onion together and butter. Because, you know, you can have butter. And um, I've lost about 
8.4 pounds in the last 10 days. So I'm pleased with that. And But it's not even, it's, yes, I need to lose 100 pounds. Um, okay, yeah, the nutritionist, no more sodas. That's right, no more sodas. Um, it, it, it is about the weight loss. Does that mean that you have to cut out fruit, do the natural? I'm cutting back on certain fruits. I already eat a lot of strawberries and uh, blueberries. That is something that I developed when I was doing Trim Healthy Mama. And what is really, really hard on us is we eat tons of watermelon and cantaloupe during the summer. And uh, John bought both to have at the beach. But what I did, I just said, I'm not going to deprive myself of it. And thank you, Cherie. Thank you so much. I said, I'm just not depriving myself of everything so that this can become a lifestyle. And what I, um, yes, fruit should be matched with the protein. Exactly right. When you eat, um, now, strawberries and um blueberries are not as much but if you eat an apple you definitely need to eat a piece of cheese with it and it balances the natural sugar in it that's what trim healthy mama teaches you that but what i'm doing guys i am seeking god for a new lifestyle i've got these precious grandbabies i have this precious husband that god gave me a second chance at life um and I am so tired of being tired. I am, and I just believe that my healing is going to come through obedience. You've had the same problem with sugar and inflammation. Yes, because it is. Yes, it is. It is an inflammatory substance. And did you know that sugar is, um, don't look at it, 100 pounds, help me. Is, yes, exactly, 10 pounds. I'm not even looking at increments right now, though. I'm telling y'all, it's about God leading me. Uh, I, I don't even worry about the 100 pounds. I really don't. I am a sugar freak, and I've got to have healing in that. I can, I can bypass something chocolate, but let there be a bowl of jelly beans sitting there, and I can eat the whole bowl. Sour Patch Kids, my grandkids love Sour Patch Kids. So do I. I love sugary stuff. And the more you read about it, I mean, my uh, best girlfriend, Janice, uh, y'all met her when we went to Florida sh last week. She was diagnosed as type 2 diabetic. So we, I told her, I said, I'm with you, sister. We're going to do this together because this will be some of the same things that uh, she has to do. She's, she, and she is a sweetaholic. And, uh, but I crave carbohydrates and I crave them for comfort. And God is our comfort. God is our strength. And you know what? I don't have to have a bag of jelly beans to make me feel better. I don't have to have a bag of candy here and there. But what we, what I did, I ate one piece, um, a cube, a square, about like that, of watermelon. And I had it. And um, I was okay. I was okay walking away from it. And if that slows me down a few days, so be it, because I ate, and it's not that watermelon is bad. It is not bad. It's just that it's so high of natural sugar. Same thing. I ate one, you know, how you cut a cantaloupe into a, a piece. I ate one piece of cantaloupe, and I was satisfied. We went to the restaurant. I had grilled mahi-mahi with lump uh, crab meat on top, and I had a big salad, and I didn't eat any bread and oil that they had. I was fine. Um, and then this restaurant, when Janice and I went, uh, we both took a piece of the key lime pie back to the condo because it is the best. It is like opening up a can of Eagle Brand milk and drinking it. I love Eagle Brand. And so I thought, oh, God, Ashley said, Mom, do you care if I order a piece of key lime pie? And I said, no, I don't care. You order it. And so, you know what I did? I ate two bites of it. And I was fine with two bites of it. And see, I won't, during the week and all, I typically won't do that. Because I won't be exposed to stuff. I don't buy junk at our house. Anyway, I buy gummies for the kids. And in the middle of the night, sometimes I hit the gummies. But the more water you drink, the more those cravings go down. That is a um, 
tried and true proven fact and it is so true that the more water you pour in it really has helps to suppress your but i'm just like you know if you're out with a crowd and you're having a birthday eat a small piece of birthday cake but no and that's the reason i'm keeping the journal is so that it's right there in front of me y'all i mean i've got an eating pro i don't I don't eat more than anybody else. I eat the wrong things. Because there's days I just don't eat that much. But if you eat three packs of gummies, even though they don't have any calories in them, they're just sugar, 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 sugar. And God has just put stuff after stuff after stuff on Facebook, in magazines, articles. He has just been shoving it in my face lately. Get off sugar. You've got to get off sugar. And I want to be in obedience to him because this is his temple. This is his temple. And I want to be in obedience. Don't you? Obedience is hard. And see, you know, sometimes what we do when we get to be an adult, we know that we can do what we want to pretty much, you know, with, within reason that's not illegal or immoral. But we've got to think that what we put, I've never smoked, I've never drank. But if I use food in the incorrect way, it's just as bad. So it's just a mind change for me. It is a mind change. And probably so many of y'all are in the same boat I'm in. Um, you know, they say that sugar is America's crack. Um, I've noticed that Rhett, he's a horrible eater. Reed eats good. All Rhett wants is sugar. And I've told Ashley, I said, Ash, you've got to make some changes for him and you've got to get this changed and start incorporating more things so that he doesn't grow up and have diabetes um michael's uncle is um had from his knee down amputated this past year because of type 2 diabetes i don't want to struggle with that i do not want to struggle with that and um i'm just believing and trusting in god and i i say we all pray together and I might even put something on. I just hadn't said anything because I was like, oh, God, Suzanne, here you go again. You know, because <clears throat> I was doing so good on Trim Healthy Mama, guys. I had lost 17 pounds. But, right, follow God's plan for your health. Yeah, and it's not even, um, yeah, I I'm telling you, sugar causes harm. I'm telling y'all. God has, he has confirmed it to me. And if you will read some stuff on sugar, you will just see. See, because your insulin in your body is there to break down what you eat. And Trim Healthy Mama will tell you that when, thank you, uh, Tina, you are such a sweetheart because I know that you, girl, you're, you've, huh, you've gone, you've traveled that path the last several months. But Trim Healthy Mama teaches you that you can't go to dinner and put a steak, a roll, a baked potato, and a salad in your body all at the same time. If you do, there is no way that your body can break down all those complex carbohydrates at one time. That's the reason you eat high protein and low carbohydrates. Or if you do eat something with higher carbohydrates in it, you eat lower protein so that your insulin has a, a chance to break down what you put into your body. The reason that we're overweight is because we're stuffing ourselves full of sugar and processed foods and, and our body cannot break it down. So what it does not break down, it stores it as fat. And girls, this is a lot of jelly beans right here. <laughs> it's not just jelly beans. It's cheeseburgers. It's, um, and, and look, this this is my new attitude there's not one place that i can't eat um we went through we got to to the beach of the night late we had not eaten anything since lunch i was starving and so we went through dairy queen i ordered a bacon grilled uh chicken like a club sandwich i took both pieces of bread off and i ate that chicken and cheese and bacon and it was so good um some of the places doesn't have big lettuce, but if they do, get them to wrap your cheeseburgers in lettuce and then eat it with a fork or eat it. I mean, you go to Chick-fil-A. We went to Zaxby's tonight. I got a Caesar salad with no croutons. Caesar salad dressing's not high in carbs. 
and uh, and I'm counting calories and carbs. This app does that. And then um, I got some chicken fingers, and I ate three chicken fingers and a Caesar salad with no croutons, and I'm stuffed. I am stuffed. So it's all up here, and that's where God has got to be in control. So I haven't said anything about it because I was like, oh, I don't want to lay my soul before the world again. <laughs> Because I have failed so many times, but I want to do this for me. I deserve it, and you deserve it. And God is on our side. He is on our side. And so we might just start sharing some tips on Let Your Light Shine. And, you know, everybody, my blood type, you know, there is a diet for blood types. And I'm O negative, and high protein, low carbs is my, is even my blood type style. It's what works for me. And uh, I just know that's where God is leading me to get the sugar. See, like even with Weight Watchers, you have to be so careful because so much of what they approve of eating has very high sugar in it, even though the calories may be low. And I think they've made some changes since I was on it 100 years ago. So, But girls, we're in this together. Ladies, we're in this together. We are here to lift each other up. And, you know, do you, you know that's the reason that we've been put here. Yeah, diet and exercise are the key. Uh, exercise is hard for me. Um, let me take care of Banana. Banana, I don't know why you're here. I'll just remove you and that'll help you. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm so glad Leanne showed me how to do that. Um, yeah, because we're not eating bananas right now. So, let me remove him again. I should have removed him. Um, we're not eating bananas because they got a lot of carbs in them. <laughs> But there again, if you want a banana, eat a banana. Eat a banana. So, ladies, I love y'all. And thank you for hanging out with me for about 35 minutes tonight. Um, and, um, you know, um, I know. Eat like a bird and exercise like a crazy woman. And with the dysautonomia, me staying so dizzy and everything. Um, yeah, half a banana and natural peanut butter. Exactly. Um exercise has been very hard somebody asked me a while ago if we had a bike and we were really into bike riding a few years ago but i think that's when um <laughs> oh i have done nothing okay banana you can stay in I, you just said what are you doing here and i just thought if you don't want to be here you don't have to but hey i didn't report you sweetie i just removed your comment because i've had trolls on this channel so if you want to be here come on in Come on in. We're a bunch of women that love the Lord, and I'm sorry if I offended you. I really am. If I offended you, I'm really sorry. Um, you look like my old teacher. We're good. I used to work at a college. So um, uh, maybe that's why, because I did retire from a college. So, But I'm really sorry if I offended you. I just thought you were a troll, and I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. So you come on in. You're welcome here anytime you want to be. But ladies, I love y'all. Uh, like I said, we'll do some. Uh, we'll talk about it more on our page. And um, but there's like three of them, and I'm not sure. The link, Ruth. The link is on every one of my videos. If you'll just look down in the description below, you'll see where it says "Let Your Light Shine." So the link is on every one of them. Uh, that's okay. She's still my teacher. I mean, you look like. You look like an old teacher. I'm not trying to be rude. That's fine, sweetie. Um, but um, uh, the link is on every one of my videos. So, Ruth, just go back to one of my videos and just scroll down in the description. And you'll see where uh, Let Your Light uh, Shine page is on there. So, do that. And then, uh, and I do check. Um, I check the people that I, I make sure that they are a real Facebook account before I add them. So I love you guys. And um, I'm so glad that you joined me tonight. Thank you so much, Candy. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to work on this thing and make these temples a better place for God to dwell in. Good night. And I hope y'all have a great evening. I'm fixing to go watch some YouTube and some TV. I love you guys. Bye.